Hey guys, welcome back to Thomas. Finally come to have a look at the manual conversion on the JZS 171 Toyota Crown behind me. Some of you have been patiently waiting, so thank you very much. Let's have a look what we're dealing with. The JZS 171 is quite a similar chassis to a JZX 110, as well as the XE10, which is the Lexus IS200 and 300. The Toyota Crown JZS 171 never came as a manual, so we are able to use parts from JZX 110, as well as the Lexus chassis. Uh, obviously the pedals is what we're after. Today, we're gonna be looking at the pedals because it is the biggest hurdle with these because we've got a foot handbrake I guess you would call it on an e-brake so we need to relocate that get a normal handbrake so that's what we're going to be looking at today there is some JZS 171s converted to a manual but it's still quite an unknown especially in the UK so I've got these parts which I'm hoping they're going to fit we've got a Lexus IS200 uh, clutch master we've got an IS200 clutch pedal we've got an IS200 brake pedal an IS200 handbrake cable and a Mark III Supra handbrake lever so uh, let's have a look at the car in the engine bay where the master cylinder normally goes say on the lexus's is 300s which i have converted quite a few now uh, there is a hole in the sound deadening and you can see where it goes but in this case on the toyota crown there isn't anything there so i'm thinking we're going to tackle it from the inside of the car okay so uh obviously a bad position to record a video but you can see this is the aluminium bracket for the foot e-brake and where this white grommet goes that's where the clutch pedal and clutch master is normally uh, obviously and again we've got some sort of sound deadening so we can't see where the actual location is first up we're going to remove the pedal and everything else and then we're going to cut through this sound deadening here to give us a more of an idea where the location is in order to make my life easier i'm going to remove the complete driver's seat hopefully we're going to find some jdm goodness under there perhaps some few coins that would be quite cool i'm going to remove the complete center console as well as a little bit of this plastic here under the steering column the carpet hoover up a little bit so on rolling shit and hopefully they will give us a, enough room to remove the handbrake foot brake whatever you call it on the pedal thing all right put you on time lapse remove all this rubbish seat removed and as expected found some coins i'll just take them out on the light it's just a weird thing i've got looking for a japanese coins in imports under the carpet as well oh yes Japanese marble, interesting. Goes in a JDM pot. All right, next up, I think we're gonna remove the center console. Before I do that, I've got the marble, then I've got 50 yen, normally, that's the ones with that little hole in it, and 10 yen, got discount on the car. Okay, not really sure what tools I'm gonna need. Oops, one of my memory cards. I do know that this just pops off like that. Okay, we're gonna be making that into a manual. Uh, there was someone on the uh, UK forum after this chrome bit. I can't find it and I don't know who it was. So if you want it, mate, it's here, it's yours, it's for free. And it's lifting a little bit, but from the top it still looks okay. So if you're watching this video, give me a shout. If you're not, I'm sorry. All right, next up, Philips there. When I say Philips, I mean the Japanese industrial standards. Two 10 mils here. Pretty sure there's gonna be some under here as well. So uh, let's get rid of all the McDonald's tissues. Shout out, Prague Pirates. I'm gonna find the right tools here. Where's the trim tool? Gold is in my pocket. Okay, now we've got some 10 mil there as well. So yeah, it looks like we need some 10 mils and a uh, screwdriver. If you guys watched previously, you know, I keep going on about it that uh, Japanese cars, Japanese made cars and motorbikes use something that's called JIS, Japanese Industrial Standards. Even though it looks like Philips, it's not Philips. So if you work on these a lot, you should get a JIS screwdriver set because it's quite a little bit different. So you find yourself stripping heads, that's because you're using the wrong screwdriver. If I miss something, we might be able to lift it off. See if we got some more wiring. I'm sure we do because we've got the card reader here. Toll card reader. Definitely some cables holding it there at the back. Okay, we've got a cigarette lighter here. A surprising amount of cables for a car that's from, well, designed in year, year what, 99, I think these. I guess it's a luxury vehicle, so. Time to get some torch and shed some light on it. Okay, wow. Well.
definitely a lot of wires here compared to your Lexus. Any more JDM goodness? Oh yes, bolt, JDM bolt. Got another 50 yen, more discount. Oh yes, wait, wait. And then there's one more there. It seems to have uh, glued itself. There we go. That's another 50. Getting there, getting there, nearly getting my money back. Okay, so now I'm thinking of trying to get the carpet out of the way. I'll take my money. Okay, I think that's all I need to remove the stock handbrake. It's not handbrake, it's parking brake, that's it. Parking brake. Okay, a lot more room to get rid of the hand foot brake and the cable. I'm gonna go under the car as well, where I'm gonna disconnect the cable. And I'm thinking of removing this as well, but then I obviously need to actually get the car on the ramp. So I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna do just yet, but uh, I'll make a plan, because obviously the handbrake is gonna go there. This is a bit too bulky for it, so that needs to go as well. one more somewhere you need to investigate and I think you can just about see it is one bolt right at the top which I think is the same location as the clutch for the top bolt so that's quite good news that it does have a provision for that fingers crossed let's undo that guy then we've got two 10 mils that's for the handbrake parking brake release now if everything worked this should somehow <sighs> come out I think I'm gonna need to take the duct out sorry it's a bit soft one-handed I'm sure there's probably gonna be a switch on there as well somewhere yeah well let's undo that first okay well wow okay so that's that done let's undo those two brackets holding the cable and then I think there's another two 10 mils there and then tackle the underneath Thank you for holding. That's all I'm done here. Let's check up the car on one side. Okay guys, so it's kind of hard to show you because I'm under the car, that's not on the ramp here. But I want to make this kind of detailed so you can see where the front part of the cable it joins onto the rear cable there. So I'm just going to unhook it there, pull it out and it seems to be the right distance as the IS200 cable. So uh, that's good news. Let's do that. Let's get it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this one through. That's the IS200. Yeah, just literally you put it through and then you twist the cable, pull it, and it kind of locks up. I don't think I will be able to show you that because it's just that bit too tight. You just have to take my word for it. Okay, so not the best solution, but the solution nevertheless. So, you obviously this way you're gonna lose the adjustment by the cable, but we still got the adjustment by the shoes, so we should be all right. So I was quite pleased that this is gonna work out nicely, but it's, uh, it's still working out, but not that nice as I thought it was gonna, but it's okay, that's uh, part of the game. Now, we're also gonna lose the switch. Oh, come on. Are also going to lose the switch now if you really OCD obviously you would want a different cable solution you can extend the switch from under the dash I'm sure but this handbrake didn't be even so uh, we are not doing that all right and we will 
bend this. Put some grease around there as well. Figure out where we're going to mount this handbrake. Okay, let's put this centre console So now we're sitting where we normally would. Okay, so I'm thinking we will need to be somewhere here, which is absolutely ridiculous. Well, I'm guessing that is what it is. Let's cut these little tabs off because they in the way. I'm guessing we'll have to be like this. Get some washers going as well. Let's mark it up. When I say mark it up, I mean big drill. Okay. Trying to drill with a drill bit too big. Have it, it's a solution. It works, it's not the most elegant solution, but it works. Okay, onto the clutch pedal. So, underneath, I'm left with this. So, I'm thinking this stud and the little one there is actually where the holes need to be, and then we have right at the top, you can just about make it out, is the other bolt hole. So, if I'm thinking right, we're gonna cut this section of the sound ending and see what the far wall looks like oops and perhaps trying to line the pedal line the pedal even with the studs let's do it now this is literally how much you have to cut out to fit the whole bracket assembly forget these studs you can see this is the provision uh, to mount the pedal and drill the holes now the top hole that had the parking brake is a little bit off center so it actually doesn't get used i'm thinking i'm gonna drill the holes here I'm gonna make a little template from the pedal or even from the master cylinder drill the holes from here and then once everything is in place i'm thinking on the top next to the hole just a little spot well just to help it stay steady a little bit but let's mark out where we're gonna drill the holes okay it's all marked up hopefully i can get the drill in there and what we're gonna do is just drill those two holes we won't worry about the big one just yet and uh, once we drill through to the other side through the sound deadening we know where to cut okay i don't think you can make it out there's one hole here another one just down there it does seem like potentially there could be a pre-cut on that sound deadening we'll give it a go i don't know if i can mount you in a position where you will be able to see it but uh, let's try wanted it a bit neater than there but I don't think I can I don't think that's quite enough here it doesn't look brilliant but it's gonna be all hidden most of it by the cylinder anyway so uh, let's see if we can drill the holes from here obviously I've only ever drilled it with a uh, 2Js of GE seems to be quite a lot more stuff here let's give it a go Okay, now I've got this, uh, I'll call it 
the Christmas tree job. I can't do that from the outside, so I'll have to do it from underneath. I spent way too much time under there. Get a bit sick being upside down, but uh, let's crack on with it. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a quick coat of paint. Nice little silver one, all I have. Let's just test fit it. Boom. There we go. You can see the master there. I'm just gonna put the clutch bracket, clutch pedal with its bracket. And that's the pedal in with its bracket with the two bolts. And if I can show you. So on the top there, you can see on the right hand side is the hole on the bracket and on the left is the parking brake. So it doesn't quite line up. Ideally, I would wanna put a spot well there, but let me just see. The pedal does seem quite sturdy. It's not like it's a brake pedal really, it's, it's a clutch. So. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it. It's not the most elegant solution, but it's a lot better than the handbrake, is it? I'm done for today. I've got a mad as headache for spending most of the day upside down in foot. Well, pedals is definitely something, my least, one of my least favorite jobs, as well as probably window regulators. I absolutely hate doing those. Uh, anyway, so that's done. The handbrake, definitely not the best solution, but it does work, but I'll do some research whether there is something better out there. Pedals okay, missing one bolt, but I think it's just a clutch pedal, so we'll be all right. Next up, removing all the automatic stuff that's going to be part two and uh, thank you for watching if you're new here please do subscribe check out the links in the description also merch gonna have some drop uh, coming i think next couple of weeks gonna have some new summer hats so check them out if you want to support the channel and i will see you guys next time bye